everybody, how's it going tonight? It's Callie the Vegan. I'm just doing a little update and this week I'm just not feeling it. Um, I had kind of a rough last two weeks. I was studying for my CPA exam so at night I was basically like every night coming home from work and spending time in my books and when you're studying you kind of like oral fixation. You want to like sip on something or you want to eat snacks or whatever and even though the things that I chose to snack on were not horrible things, they were pretzels or whatever, but it was just added calories. So actually I am kind of where I started at this point. Now I know some of it's, you know, I can probably lose a couple pounds in a couple days, so I'm not that upset about it, but I'm kind of just hating on my body right now because I'm sick of doing things <laughs> to eat better and things like that and then just like kind of maintaining. So. Uh, people have, you know, noticed a difference, but I just want to keep it up and I want to get past that plateau and I want to see like a big difference. So, um, plans for March are two things. Uh, one is stop eating you fat bastard, <laughs> which is something a friend of mine came up with back in, I don't know, high school. Um, we found this pen one time and it said, ask me about my diet plan. And uh, I don't know, one of us put it on one time and the other one of us said, what's your diet plan? And the other one said, stop eating you fat bastard. So anyways, uh, kind of harsh, but basically true. Like you eat your 1200 calories and then you stop. Or if you eat a little over 1200 calories, it better be all good food, apples, oranges, carrots, whatever else. So that's rule number one is stop eating you fat bastard. And number two is um, move yo ass, which is basically I need to start um, get back on the Fitbit. I've been wearing my Fitbit the last couple days um, and actually got caught in the hallway by the same person twice taking it out of my bra and then putting it back in my bra. And it's a new person at work and it makes it really, really awkward. So um, anyways, I've been tracking my Fitbit again and I on average do about 3,500 or 4,000 steps a day probably, but I'm going to try to go for the 10,000 at least a couple times a week. So waiting for the weather to clear up so I can start going outside and then start going to the gym too. So I need to be able to come home and make dinner real quick and then uh, hang out for a minute with Chris and then go to the gym. So that's what I need to do. So those are my plans for this um, month and I look forward to hearing um, your guys' plans for the month and offer any tips that you guys have. And if you have any tips for me, let me know, but kind of plateauing right now. Um, but I knew it was going to because of my test and that, you know, when you're stressed out and you're snacking, things don't work out well. So back on it. I started a diet bet with um, one person from work and then some other people that I know. So I have 25 in and if I win, which means that I lose 4% of my body weight in the next three weeks, um, then I win 150 bucks. So gambling and putting money on something makes you be a little bit more motivated. So. I'm gambling on my weight and I'm gambling on this month to stay away from snacks and to get back on it and to stop eating, you fat bastard, and to move my butt or ass, whatever you prefer. So you guys have a good week and we'll talk to you next Tuesday. Peace. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.